In the session, we're going to explain how to override three eight configs in a upgrade safe way. Now, the first question you might ask, where are the three eight configs? That's what we're going to see at the start. So on your default three eight installation, without any changes, you're going to find the config folder right over here, right at the root. Okay, this is a base installation. And this config folder is the Symfony config folder with parameters, service configuration, and so forth, plus all the configurations that we need on Suite 8. Okay. So this is where you can find Suite 8 configurations. Now, where should we do an upgrade safe configuration, an extension to a configuration? So what I'm going to say next applies to all Suite 8 customizations and the ones that are on uh, front ends or that override the new part of core, so the Suite 8 part of core. So this, what I'm going to say next does not apply to legacy changes like var devs, detail view devs, and so forth. Those you should configure in the same place where you configure at the moment, um, like on the custom folder within public legacy. But everything else, everything that's Suite 8 specific, uh, should go into this extensions folder. By default, with the Suite 8 package, you'll find within extensions the default ext, okay, the default extension. This is a pre-configured, pre-setup extension that you can use out of the box and just start adding your customizations ready to use. It includes both a backend structure for customizations and the frontend structure for customizations. So the default TXT has app, backend, and config. App is a frontend uh, customizations. Backend, uh, as the name says, is a backend uh, customizations. And what we're going to focus on is the config folder, which has a base setup for your extension that these files are needed for your extension to work and has a pre-configured extension that I added here that we're going to look into today. Okay. By default, this, this, tree, this folder services is not there, but I'm going to get into that in a second. As you might have guessed already, what we're going to use as an example is module routing. Okay. So there's a file on core, which is this one, which is module routing. So what is module routing for the ones that not, are not aware? Module routing is a configuration that allows the Suite 8 frontend to decide whether to render a view on Suite 8 mode or classic mode. By classic mode, I mean the Suite 7 mode. So it's going to go to 7, ask Suite 7 to render and show that. It shows that on an iframe. And on this configuration, you can change four things. The index... Okay, which usually goes to the list view for most modules, like home doesn't and others don't, like administration. List view, record, and creates. However, creates falls back to record, so you don't need to configure create. So you, you can just use record and that's it. So that's why on this file you won't find creates. Everything is just using record. I have here some screenshots of the difference between the two. So this is your accounts record view, the default one uh, with the demo data, no changes, no customizations. When you override it to show on classic view mode, it would show like this here. This is Suite 7 style to look like Suite 8 as close as possible. This doesn't have any customizations, just the default accounts out of the box. So this is the difference. When you change module routing, this is what you can do. Okay. Now, how to override a configuration, any configuration, not just module routing. So the first thing you should do is to check the file structure of where your configuration file is placed in. In this case, the module routing YAML file, as you can see here, is on config, services, module, module routing. As a best practice, you should mimic this structure on your extension. That's why on the extensions folder within the config, I kept the same structure, services module, module routing. 
However, as you can see here, I added a PHP file, not a YAML file. And this is a, a very important thing to note. With Symfony, if you add a YAML file here, it you would need to copy the full file and override it com completely because the YAML uh, overrides the full entry. So this entry is on parameters, as you can see here, and the config entry we are setting on this file is legacy module routing. If I copy the base module routing YAML to extensions as a YAML file, and I only add here the accounts, it would override this entry to only contain accounts and would remove everything else. Okay. So when using a YAML file, you need to copy the full file and then just override the things you want to override. So this is not super good as you might imagine because you can think, okay, and what about other plugins that want to change the same configuration? Yes, exactly. So there's a way to just change the specific configuration you want to change. And that is by using the PHP file. So what I'm saying here, referencing regarding YAMLs and PHP files, this is not anything sweet specific. This is just what is offered to us by Symfony. And you can go to Symfony documentation and read a, li a lot more about it. Now, how does our uh, module routing PHP look like? So it's a very simple PHP file. This part here will always be the same on any, when overriding any config. So you add the namespace and so forth. And you add this function here, the static function. And then you're, you'll have to do three steps. The first step is to get your parameter, okay? As you saw, on the module routing YAML, our config entry is legacy dot module underscore routing. Okay, so this is the key for that config. Okay, which within the Symfony container or in on PHP code, it's going to be mapped to an array. So that's this is the key we want to get. Okay, and other files here, we have other keys, unique keys of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that array by getting the parameter with that key as you can see here. Okay. So it will get everything, so home, save, search, accounts, and so forth. Then we're going to get the accounts, or in this case, I'm going to override the accounts configuration. So I'm on module routing accounts, and I'm going to override the entry with my new configuration. And lastly, I'm going to reset the full module routing on the container. So this is how you would override in an upgrade safe way any config uh, that is using the Symfony parameters. Now, of course, there could be another plugin that is also changing uh, the, the module routing on accounts. Um, but that's something you have to take into account when doing your customizations and understanding what your plugins do. So that there, there will be an order and the one that comes last will be the one that wins. Okay. As you can see here, you have three keys, which we already mentioned that are the index view, the list view, and the record view, which on Suite 7 we usually call actions. So the true, as the comment says here, means show this view in Suite 8 mode. If you set it to false, it's going to show in classic view mode. Now, what about custom actions, custom views that you have on legacy and are not implemented on Suite 8 yet? So those will always fall back to classic view. Anything that's not defined here on these keys is going to fall back to classic view. And if you were to implement your view and so forth, you could just use the same name as the action, even with uh, camel case and all that, so that's okay. Another question you might ask is, what about custom modules? So if you do not define your custom module here on the module routing, by default, 
the suite backend is going to inject into the configuration that goes to the front end. It's going to inject these same keys, but all set to true okay, by default. This is what happens on custom modules if they are not defined on the module routing. Now, another question you might ask is, okay, I added my custom module, should I change the core file here? The answer of course is no. You should probably add a file like this one here. Now, after setting this here, the code won't work. There's another step you need to take, okay? So, Symfony caches all the configurations. When you set up Symfony, Symfony is going to read the full config folder and all the service configurations and parameters and it's going to build them and add them to the cache folder. So there are two ways to clear the cache. Since version 8.5, the repair and rebuild also clears the Symfony cache. It does this by deleting the contents of the Symfony cache folder, which are automatically regenerated when you do another request from the browser. So let's do that. We're going to repair, quick repair and rebuild. And now, as you can see, we are on classic view modes. Now let's switch back to suite 8 modes and let's clear the cache using the symphony commands. So we're going to comment this out. So this disables the this extension. We're going to run repair and rebuild again. And we're back to suite 8 mode. Now let's do the same, but by using the symphony commands. So we can go to the command line, as you can see here, and on your suite 8 instance, you have the console, you can run the bin console command and cache clear. Okay. Great, it's finished. Now on the app, let's refresh. And we are on legacy mode or classic mode.